Hey y'all, so it's been a while since I've recorded anything. So the next video I probably make that you'll see this in will be kind of like a mix, mix match of the second half of spring semester. I've just been super busy um, prepping for so many things, having surgery, you know, waiting for this whole nursing school application has been driving me batty, just nuts, insane, frustrated, <laughs> like so anxious. Because they originally said, so I turned in my application February 21st, they were due March 10th. I would have turned mine in way earlier than that, but I was waiting for my phlebotomy certification to come in the mail, which took forever, because um, I did that at the end of January, yeah. Um, so, then, just been a, been a waiting game. They said they would let us know the last week of April, so of course, last week, I was super anxious. I thought it was going to come last Thursday. I don't know why. That was just the day I felt it was going to come. It did not come. When my friend said May 3rd, it did not come. When my friend said yesterday, May 4th, it did not come. So today is May 5th. They said they would let us know by May 6th. So I was hoping we would know before that <laughs> instead of like May 6th at 11.59 p.m. But you know, uh, just slow, painful torture, like medieval style torture. But I'm excited, I'm nervous. I feel like I can't like, you know, the semester is just about over. I take my AMP2 final next Sunday because I have to take it early because I'm having surgery. I take my Spanish final next week early. Um, you know, I take my AMP2 final like two days after our exam on the endocrine and reproductive system. So that's going to be fun. Um, having two days to study for that, like the weekend before my surgery. So, but whatever, it's going to be fine. I just feel like I'm stuck in limbo, but getting my surgery approved was like a huge deal. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have been in the process since August of last year, so August of 2021, jumping through all the hoops to get approved for weight loss surgery. So I'm gonna have, be having a gastric sleeve. Um, I've been having testing and nutrition classes and all of that since August of 2021. Finally got a surgery date in January. And so it's, you know, finally upon us, you know, still, you know, doing pre anesthetic testing and meeting with the surgical fellow and, you know, so it's been interesting from, you know, now knowing just a little bit more about how the body works in like A&P and or through A&P plus working, you know, at a physician's office at an OBGYN, especially like now that we're in reproductive. I'm asking all the questions and all the questions I've pretty much asked this semester have been either relating to like diabetes and dialysis or like OBGYN stuff just because those are the things that I'm familiar with or have encountered a lot just like through family and work and so I'm sure my teachers like stop going off on tangents you know asking questions but I hope everyone appreciates them and is learning something. I know that I am, especially since they already kind of, you know, have an idea of what specialty in nursing I'd like to go into, but you know, still having, having an open mind because that can change at any time, especially like depending on, you know, your experience like during clinicals and what things are really like and, you know, learning new things. So getting new interests, I don't know. But I'm basically just trying to do everything I can right now so I don't like freak out. From, you know, the, the waiting <laughs> that's killing me. Uh, one of my 
friends, Alicia, who is in my A and P one class. You know, she applied for the program as well. So every day, several times a day, we're like, "Did you hear anything?" <laughs> you know. So, but they haven't sent out anything to anybody. So we will, we shall see. But I will keep you guys posted. So now I am just leaving school. Um, in class this morning. And I gotta go do a ton of Spanish homework and uh, A&P stuff. And this is my first like real study guide. Like I well no, I worked my way through maybe one or two before out of the seven, but this one I'm like really like going at it on my own. So I'm excited because that was one of the goals I had set myself for myself this semester was to work on doing study guides more because I know I'll especially need it like in nursing school. I did register for microbiology over the summer. That starts June 1st, all the way through the end of July, which I really wanted to take the summer off because I've literally been in classes from summer 2020, <laughs> every semester. So spring, you know, summer, fall, winter. I think last winter was the only winter I didn't take a class because the classes that I need they only offer, you know, during longer semesters because the winter semester is like two and a half weeks or two weeks, something like that. <clears throat> but that's not saying I didn't take any classes because I was doing the phlebotomy technician course. So, so yeah, I really wanted a break this summer, but it's better to just get it done now and knock it out so that. I am in the nursing program. Oh, I'm sorry. When I am in the nursing program, I can really like just enjoy my summers and enjoy my winter break because all my other prereqs are done. So I'm just going to keep pushing. Hi guys. So you are talking to a very, very happy, happy, happy Ari. Um, I was at work today. It is Friday, May 6th, and while I was at work, talking to my coworkers and trying to look up something like to leave a review for one of my teachers for school, that was fabulous. And all of a sudden, I got the notification pop up on my Apple Watch saying, congratulations. So I have been conditionally accepted to my school's ADN RN program, yay! So happy, so excited, I'm absolutely thrilled, you guys. Um, you know, congratulations to all of those who have been accepted for fall 2022 start. And um, if for some reason you weren't accepted or were wait listed, remember that uh, denied does not mean never, okay? Um, so, you know, keep your head up, keep pushing forward, keep working hard. You know, maybe the timing just wasn't right. But I'm so excited, you guys. So, um, if there's things that I must get, gotta have. If you've already started nursing school or you've been accepted, um, what are your plans for the summer? I'll be taking microbiology. What are some must things have? Must have things on your list? I know I gotta get probably like a watch with, um, you know, a, that's not digital with the, you know, second hand and everything. Um, I already have a stethoscope. I already have a blood pressure cuff at home. I just need to find it. Um, I know I'll have to get scrubs. I will know I'll have to get books. I gotta do the whole Leaves Castle branch for the whole like background check, drug screen, uh, health exam, immunizations, like all of that. And I'm like, what else do I gotta do? I just know there's gonna be so much <laughs> I'm gonna have to do. I'm so yay, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's just been a wonderful day. I've been smiling. They notified me at like 10.43 this morning after sending an email yesterday, a fake psych out email 
saying congratulations you've been accepted to the college when we already like go to the college then they send an email like 20 minutes later being like oh so sorry please disregard that that was sent an error you'll get your notification on whether you've been accepted or not tomorrow and I was like Ugh. At first I was like, are they playing with me? Is this a joke? Is this a scam? Is this one of these like phishing emails kind of thing? But yay. So um, buckle up because you about to be sick of me. You're going to be sick of me. <laughs> Good morning, love bugs. Today is Wednesday, May 11th. Okay, I keep my days are all so confused lately i am on my way to school um today is a mandatory meeting for students who are accepted into the nursing program um so i am almost at school i'm about to turn in i'm meeting my friend alicia um you saw her in one of my earlier videos um when i was studying for finals last semester so basically, um, I don't know if this is like orientation. I don't know. Um, I know they're gonna talk to us about Castle Branch, which um, when I was doing the medical assisting program at my school, um, you know, you have to do your like health exam. So basically it's like a platform to upload all your immunizations. Um, your urine drug screen um and you know you have to have a physical exam as well i guess to make sure you're like physically fit for the program um so i'm conditionally accepted based on those so i'm just turning into the school um so i'm so excited you guys i'm so 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 excited i don't know what else to say um I'm just so happy. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. I didn't get to stop at Starbucks this morning because I'm technically not supposed to have coffee um, before, you know, well, for three months after I have my surgery. My surgery is Monday. Um, but I do have my coffee premier protein shake and it does have some caffeine. So, but I, I needed it. I was at school last night until like 11, a little after 11. Uh, studying for my endocrine and reproductive system exam, which is tomorrow. And then I'm taking, I'm really stressed out because I'm taking my finals early and this last week's worth of exams as well. Like the exam, last exams for the final. Um, I have to do everything early because I'm having surgery the day of finals. <laughs> so that's fun. I'm really like I have so much going on right now and it's a little overwhelming but it's okay I'm just super super excited it's like everything you know worked so hard for is finally upon me um at least this part I think the majority of what they want us to do over the summer is just focus on you know getting all of those things squared away so that's what I'm gonna be doing um but yeah so I'll let you know how it goes So, so bright. Just finished nursing school orientation. It was so much info. Oh my God. So, so much. Girl. Uh. <laughs> oh, so, I'm leaving school now, finally. I uh, had to do my Spanish final which I did great. I got a 95.5, so that's great. Um, so, <laughs> as I'm driving to Starbucks, uh, before I go to this work dinner, they're doing a work dinner at Ruth's Chris, and I haven't been to Ruth's Chris before, and I'm like, it's right before I, before I have my surgery, and if you're paying for it, I'm gonna go. So, <laughs> but it is, you know, really good to go. We're, um, they're gonna be talking about my risk, um, which is like, you know, screenings for, genetic screens for cancer that we do um, at my job. So, you know, it'll be good information um, to know more about my risk. 
but I don't even know where to begin. My brain just feels so super, super full. Just from all the information they gave us. So basically we walked in, we had to sign in and um, sat down. So I met Alicia, we sat in the front row um and they just started with the presentation and it's just so much you guys like when i get home i'll probably like show you <laughs> all the things and my brain will be a little more like at ease because i still have to process everything but the schedule i mean i'll literally be at school probably almost every day the entire day <laughs> from like seven to five or eight to five or eight to eight or you know whatever it is Clinicals are on Wednesdays and Thursdays, open lab, skills lab, sim lab, you know, all of the things. Um, we talked about uniforms and dress code and, um, you know, all the Castle Branch stuff that we have to get, you know, the exam and the vaccines and the drug screen and all of that. And we talked about financial aid and we talked about, you know, registering for classes. We got to pick our clinical um, and lab days that we want. Like we were request them, you know, our top three choices. And then um, she'll, one of the coordinators will, you know, put us, place us wherever. Um, I personally want to do like midday afternoon just because I'm horrible at getting up in the morning and I'm a night owl. So I think like starting at 11.30 noon, like that's the perfect schedule for me. I don't want to start at like four in the afternoon because it's too late, I think. But I like like in the middle of the day so I can have my morning to myself. You know, if I can learn to get up early, I'll have some time to study before class. They had um, a group of students come sit and uh, current students, they just finished their first semester um, and talk to us about everything and their experience and suggestions. We had someone from Lincott come. Um, they're the ones who are doing our textbooks and everything is online. When they said the price of the books, the cost of the textbooks, y'all. And it's not even like a paper physical copy. And I'm old school. Like I like a tangible copy of the book. But no, everything is online because all of your assignments are online, care plan, like everything is through Lincott some kind of way, except for um, the med math dosage calculations book we have to get. That's a physical copy. But everything else is online and there's like mastery levels and stuff. I don't, I don't really know. Like she presented for a long time and I, it's just a lot of information to try and like retain but the cost of first semester books y'all the cost of first semester books y'all two thousand dollars two thousand dollars what so your girl is gonna be applying for all the scholarships and grants she can you know, I've already done my FAFSA. I got a super, super, super small grant from the state, uh, but it's better than nothing. Um, and and two thousand dollars for books with the discount for getting them digitally through the publisher. <laughs> so, and I don't know how I'm gonna work because the schedule is like so full every day. So I'm guess I'm gonna have to try to work on the weekends and then randomly here and there. I don't, I don't know. I used to work at a vet, so maybe I'll go back to the vet on the weekends, some weekends, and then work PRN at my current job since the hospital's not, or not the hospital, but the doctor's office isn't open on the weekends. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but trying to plan it all, it's so much, and all of the deadlines for the exams and you know, the, the stuff we have to do just to get to the start of the semester. School starts August 29th, um, and that's like orientation, even though this was kind of like orientation part one, I guess. That'll be orientation part two. Um, 
you know, they talked about dress code. Um, I'm trying to think of what else they talked about. I can't even remember. It was just so much. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> Everyone was just super overwhelmed. I met some really nice people though. And if you're an older student like myself, um, it was nice, no offense to the 18 year olds out there, but it was nice seeing that like not everyone, at least who came to the session that I attended, cause there's another session on the 18th. Um, but at least those who came to my session, I didn't feel like the oldest person in the room. There were definitely people there that were older than me. Um, but mostly I'm gonna say like my age, which was pretty cool. Right, I'll be right with you, give me one second. Oh, thank you. Um, so that was super nice. Um, I'm excited. I'm like, do I feel more stressed? No, I don't think so. Just excited and ready to get everything going. Hey, and get you? Hi, I'm picking up a mobile order for REL. All right, mobile for REL. I'll see the window. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the instructor um, for first semester, the first semester coordinator, she's so nice. She's so nice and so sweet. And of course, you know your girl, I'm the one that asks all of the questions about all of the things all of the time, you know? And she was like, you asked some really great, great questions. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, I know I'm the one that, you know, will tend to put us, you know, people behind because I just asked so many questions just for clarity and like for my anxiety level. And she was like, no, you asked some great questions and you were so sweet. And she gave me a hug and I was like, oh, you're so nice. Um, the assistant dean of nursing came to talk to us and he was so just seemed so sweet and so nice and so caring and loving and just like so wonderful and i will have to say like it was nice for me to see the assistant dean of nursing one not only being a male but two being a black male and i just think that's really cool and really important because i don't feel like that's something you would see very often. I was surprised, certainly. Um, so that was really great. Um, and encouraging too. We had a few gentlemen um, there. We probably had one, two, I'll say maybe, I wouldn't say 10. Here we go. Yep, thank you. May I have a yeah. straw, please? Yeah, of course. Thank you, darling. Anytime. You have a great day. You too. Um, I'd say probably at least again in this group that I was in less than 10, but probably somewhere between five to 10 um, guys in there, men in there. So that was really nice to see as well. And um, the assistant Dean, he mentioned that specifically, you know, how important it is and how, you know, men, you know, nurture patients and in, in ways that are different from women. And, you know, that's, that's good and he's a um a peds nurse and just seemed he just seemed really cool and everyone was super encouraging and i'd heard like horror stories about how they're not like encouraging and how they don't care and they don't want anybody to succeed they're trying to weed out the weak i didn't get that impression at all i felt like they want nothing more than for you to be successful uh, i know it's the number one program you know, in the nation. So I guess they want, you know, of course they want to keep those numbers up, um, especially too with their NCLEX rate and their retention rate, um, you know, their NCLEX pass rate, especially too with the NCLEX changing. We were talking about that too with the Lincott textbook lady. Um, she was great too. She was a wonderful um, resource. Um, and there's a lot in there that I think is just going to be great. So I really don't think I'm going to need too much uh, additional resources. Picmonic is in there, you guys. I was like, oh, Picmonic. <laughs> like, it's part of our, like, like, I guess our learning portal or textbook portal or whatever. So, you know, partic you know, based on, you know, if it's med surge or if it's funds or whatever. So that was so cool. That was really cool to see. I was like, yeah, Picmonic. Um, shameless plug. Don't forget to use my um, discount link and code. I'll drop it in the description box below. Um, number one thing I took away from today is don't procrastinate. You have to do something every day. 
study days you have class and if you don't have class do what they call um oh, what do they call it um uh oh what is it called i forget something you i I forget, pen you, I, I forget. But basically it's like this little like quiz thing to help you reach different mastery levels or something and different quizzes. And there was, um, you know, a current student in there talking to us and he was like, I'm a master procrastinator and like hold off to the last minute and cram. He was like, don't do that <laughs> because whatever this pen you, I can't remember what it's called, it's gonna drive me nuts now. But he was like, it's intuitive and it knows you. Like he said, one night just to go up one mastery level it took him like 15 10 to 15 quizzes to just allow him to go up one or two mastery levels and the mastery levels go from one to eight and I suppose the provider like selects the mastery level they want you to be on on something so they were like work on that every day work on that every day so definitely we'll be doing that um you know when the time comes of course it was just so cool and so exciting. Um, it was just really awesome. Yeah, just really, really awesome. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. They were talking about fast fund scholarships, um, like gen ed requirements. We talked about the whole dual enrollment program. I like that they're having like an information session for like your friends and or family to attend so they know what you're gonna be going through. <laughs> um, you know, cause it's a completely different ball game. It's a totally different world so that they try to, I guess, understand a little bit more. So I thought that was wonderful. They have lots of, um, like success strategy um, meetings and things, test taking strategy meetings that are optional, but I definitely will be going to them. Um, I said we signed up for our clinical sites already. We talked about uniforms, shoes, you know, all of those things. We can use a smartwatch, um, but for like competencies, like sign offs, we have to use a watch with a second hand. Um, so we can't use a smartwatch for that just for like academic integrity, I guess. Um, but yeah, you guys. Oh, oh. So I guess that means as of today, I mean, I'm officially, officially a nursing student. I met with, you know, everyone. So that was just, it was cool. So there's a, for fall 2022, fall 20, yeah, fall 2022 start, um, there is 120 students in my cohort um I believe she said last semester or the semester of the um students who were talking to us they had 140 I think the last fall and that would be spring 2022 and then I think fall of 21 I think they had like 90 students or something like that so we're definitely increasing in our numbers here um so I'm just super excited. I just know I have to register for my classes by May 19th or well registration opens May 19th at 9 a.m. And I, everyone was talking about that. It's like the hunger games for you to get the class that you want. I know I do not want to be 8 a.m. trying to get to school because I'm notoriously late and I'm going to work on time management this summer. That's the goal. But yeah, no, not a morning person. So I'm going to try and get in for the midday afternoon schedule. But yeah, you guys, so excited. Um, so as I think of more things that we talked about, I'll definitely like pop back in. But I am going to listen to some musica. Sip on my coffee. And enjoy the rest of my way home. So, Ma, I, you know, I'm the question asker. I ask a million and one questions all the time. And the, like the coordinator for the first semester, the instructor for the first semester, um, she was like, oh, you ask such great questions and you must have it all together. She was like, I can tell already you're so organized and have everything together. I was like, 
I'm I'm a messy person. She was like, no way, I would never believe it. I said, you have no idea. Can you believe it? <laughs> no, that I cannot believe. <laughs> I know. I was like, as soon as she said, I was like, oh, I have to tell mama. <laughs> 